any shit after what feels like probably a long ass time for y'all. Not as long for me, but still long. I'm finally back to doing this. Unfortunately, I had this recorded a while back to where I actually, you know, came in here and not screwed around and did the thing properly like I was supposed to. Unfortunately, I completely... The sound, for whatever reason, just disappeared, so... Feeling moder very pissed off, I decided, eh, what the hell, I'll just commentate on this the nor my other way. Anyway, the first thing you want to do is open up those two chests to get those two items which you give to Tor and give make him stronger so you, he can actually withstand more damage, which is good for this next fight. Now I was like, oh shit, Foxy's almost dead. Yeah, it might be good to heal the party. Might be good. Now, the problem I made last time, as I've probably stated a couple of several, several times, is that these guys use dark elements. I had my party set up to protect themselves against light element, which makes them weak versus dark. And as you can see here, light element does a lot of damage. It's just last time I couldn't focus on pure damaging the bastard because of the simple fact that he kept killing my party. Now, there, now, like I've said before, both of those other two chests are both mimics. They both do the same thing. They sit there and throw darkness spells at you only. Now, you might be asking yourself, why in the hell I'm fighting these guys, especially since the door's open and I could leave if I wanted to. Well, the reason to that is both of these guys have a pretty rare item, item as a drop, and you definitely want it. You just have to make sure to kill them first. And they drop Horn Water. Horn Water gives a ton of MP recovery. I think it's a hundred, I believe. It's basically one of the best, um... It's one of the best, uh... Recovery item, uh, MP recovery items you'll get for almost the entire game. I think there's one item that recovers all MP by... Actually, I, don't even, I think only one character can get that item. I don't remember where, and it kind of pisses me off that I forget, but I don't care. We're killing this bastard right now. As I almost thought I killed him there, so that's why I had my character's melee instead. And I suffered for it. Very horribly. Because I'm a thudded! And I was like, oh wait, shit. I can tell where people can do, because I'm stupid. And I was like, yeah, I want her to be alive, because I want her to have the XP, because if... He dies, and she doesn't get XP, that means she's not going to gain a level right there. Which is why I made sure she was alive for it, because I knew she was about to level up then. Anyway, now, uh... Now that that shit's taken care of, I can continue to climb the tower. I was like, oh yeah, I might want to look at my setup, figure out what I got. I don't think I really need to change it. Oh yeah, I do need to change the spell to, uh to defense against light because the boss uses light. That'd be a smart idea. Anyway. Yeah, I'd say there's just not much to commentate on because I don't remember what the hell I was doing. I don't even remember what the hell I was doing drinking. Or if I was drinking. Or why I was drinking. Or the contents of that. Oh yeah, well, more horn water. I forget those guys drop horn water too. But there's a reason why they drop horn water here. And I was like, oh yeah, I need to set a party back up for facing against darkness. Yeah, that'd be a smart idea. Get her back on defense versus light. Get him onto, well, I can't do either one, so I'm just going to leave him for a speed up. And him, uh, I was thinking, um, dark, yeah. Wait, dark is bad. Why didn't I realize that earlier? Dark is bad. Come on, realize it sometime soon that I made a stupid mistake. I think so. I forget if he did. I might have been that stupid, but I don't know because sometimes I do really stupid shit and it happens very often. Anyway, these guys, the monsters in this dungeon are not very threatening, even though they all use light, light elemental attacks. And I was like, yeah, this is a pretty good level for taking out the boss in this area. I know because uh, after this whole, I mean, after this scene, um, video and the next video, I forgot to save, so I had to do all of this again. Yeah, from about where this video started to where the next one's gonna end. Yeah, I had to redo all that again. So, joyous to that. 
I don't think you hear any commentary about that, though, in that video. In fact, you may even hear me saying that I don't know what I was going to say here, because this is made after the next section. Oh, joy. I just got bored and wanted to do that then, and not, decided not to do it now like I should have done, because I'm stupid. My family's stupid! God. Anyway, we encounter a giant statue. Did Remus send you here? No, the giant Sir told us to revive, retrieve the sword that would allow us to return to the war, to the war, to world. Ah, I can't speak today. He is one see that gives truth. I'm already in possession of the Granum sword. You are in the Secretarium Temple of the Danons. The sword does not count as proof that it's the one that gives treasure. You will not pass this point. You've got to be kidding me! For all we've gone through, we will return to the world below. Even if we have to use force. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to a boss fight. She gets a cheap shot right off the bat by hitting you with Light Elemental. If you keep your party well protected against Light Elemental, though, this boss is cake. And if you remember to use dark el Darkness Elemental, this boss is cake. And if you remember to keep your MP high, this boss is cake. If any of those con conditions fail, then we have to laugh at you, because this boss is actually not as hard as I made it out to be, even though I unfortunately could not get it done in this one video. Uh, it bleeds into the next one, really. Uh, it's a bit aggravating to have to sit here and talk about pointless crap that I can't remember, because it's been on that long. Anyway, most of her attacks will seem weak, but trust me... She's got. She's holding back right now. Yeah, she's definitely holding back. So don't worry. Don't worry if it seems like the boss fight is going too easy. Oh yeah, I forgot to set up three new spells because uh, I'm stupid, and I probably should have set up a couple spells because that would have made things easier. Anyway, right there, I tried to see if I could steal some MP to make this boss fight stupid easy. Unfortunately, I forgot bosses cannot have their MP drained for whatever reason. I think it's because they're all jackasses. Anyway, after a, after a good deal of damage, she'll throw out this line. You're pretty good. But how will you fare in my realm? And this is where the boss fight gets hard. As soon as the screen decides to change. There we go. Now we are in the... Well, I don't know what the hell to call it. I'm going to call it space. We're in space. Yeah, now we're suffocating... Oh uh, yeah, and now I remembered, th I remembered something here that I was like, oh crap, is this going to happen now or is this going to happen later? It's like, uh, I think it's going to happen now, but I forgot to set up the spell because I'm stupid. I forgot to set up Half-Life, which, oh good, it triggered right before it. But anyway, this is her most threatening spell in the whole game. This is her most threatening spell, Star Thrust. It's actually not as difficult as tough as you'll see, but you'll see why it's annoying right here in a little bit. Because Star Thrust, for whatever reason, allows her to act first the next round. When she uses Star Thrust, she's automatically last for her pre I mean, for her previous round. But um, for the next round, I and mean, for the round she uses Star Thrust, she's automatically last. But for her next round, she's always first, which is really annoying because she can use that to double attack you and kick your team's ass. However, if you have a decent healing spell, you can recover from that no problem. Or if you just make sure to keep your team's health high enough so that you don't die horribly. Anyway, as you can see, she's starting to get closer to death. I ran out of MP for Scion, and I was thinking, oh, I'm just, uh, this shouldn't be that much of a problem. I'm just going to beat the living crap out of her until she dies, because she doesn't have that much health. I was wrong. <sighs> Anyway, throw out a meteor, non-elemental attack, d damages the whole party. I was still still forgot that uh, I didn't have any EMP, and now you're going to start to see why I suffered in this fight. Almost, maybe. Well, actually, I didn't really suffer that much. I just had a lot of trouble because the boss fight took too long. And it's about the video's about to end here in a bit, so... When the next video comes out, I'm going to be still fighting this bitch. Anyway, see you then. Right after the Star Throats, I think. Yeah.